Welcome back to the channel everyone. I am super stoked today. Now after unboxing uh, the Hummingbird Helix 9 unit, I am so excited about getting it on onto the boat. So with that said, the first thing that we need to do is actually install the transducer. All right, so this video is gonna be all about on how I'm gonna be installing the transducer on my boat. And I am actually on my way out the door to go to the boat so that we can start this because I wanna get it on the boat and I wanna start fishing. And I'm just so excited, man. This unit is amazing. So I'm talking too much. Let's head over to the boat. All right, so we are done uh, for the most part, for at least this part. Um, <clears throat> now it's just time to wait and dry. Uh, they say that it takes about an hour to cure, uh, 24 hours to be fully dry, and then 48 hours to be tacky free. So tomorrow we can come back and double check on it. Uh, maybe later today. You know what, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Later today, I'm gonna come back. Uh, it's, it's first thing in the morning. I'm gonna come back later today, gonna double check on it. I can probably take off the duct tape. I probably went overkill with the duct tape, but I want that thing to be extra secure. I don't have anything that's able to put pressure on it uh, other than for the duct tape. So that's why I put a lot of duct tape and fingers crossed. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be a little bit of a gap there on top. Um, when I put the duct tape from underneath the hull and over, it put more pressure on the bottom of the plate. That's okay. Once it's finished drying, I'll run a bead on top to clear to seal the gaps, make it look nice. Probably cut a little bit of uh, some of the excess stuff. Yeah. Once that's dry, then we're gonna start mounting on the transducer. See you back in probably later today. All right. What the heck? All right. So it's been uh, at least probably eight hours. Uh, let's take off the duct tape and see how it looks. Hopefully. Yeah, sure. Got my lovely fiance helping me. Hopefully my screwdriver's not stuck part of it. Oh, okay, good. It's not. Oh, 
Holy Mac, it's on there, man. Trunk? Yeah, move it around. It's on there pretty good. I'm gonna have to run a bead on top just to clean it up. So I'll do that now. And then uh, we let it dry for the next 24, no, 48 hours. Uh, no, 36 hours at least. All right, so we're gonna put this on top of there and then uh, run a bead. So the way I do this is I actually curl the back end of the tube and that gives it pressure to push it forward and pull it out. Most people grab it here in the middle, then you have the paste goes into the back. All right, so it has been 72 hours and it's looking good. This has been is now tacky free and it's ready to put the transducer on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna put a flat piece of metal, uh, aluminum bar, right at this point here, sticking out. I'm gonna duct tape that just for now. Put the transducer on top, mount the, uh, mount the mounting bracket to the transducer, line it up to the mounting plate, mark my holes, I'm gonna do little little drills and uh, mount the transducer. So simple as that. All right, so it is mounted. So I'm gonna recreate what I did here, how to get that flush with the bottom of the hull. So I have a flat piece of aluminum over here. And all I did was I literally duct taped it to the bottom of this portion of the hull. Put it like that. And then, literally I was able to rest the transducer right on there and then do what I had to do. Mark my holes and then drill it. Now there's a little bit of a problem here. I kind of screwed up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look over here, these three screws are actually set a couple of millimeters from the bottom. So if I decided, if I want to lift the transducer so that way it's not on um, flat with the water on plane, I'm not gonna be able to lift it much, only a couple of mils. So that's where I screwed up. So I'm gonna redrill this. And like I said, this is a good thing that I got this board because I would have made this transom in uh, either Swiss cheese or I would have just left it and that's it. One of the reasons why I wanna lift this higher than what it is now is uh, this is a transducer that's for low speed, like 10 kilometers or slower. Once I get into plane and I'm doing like faster speeds, I really don't want this dragging on the water. Like I said, I'm gonna wanna lift this. It's a good thing I got this board. Okay, so before I go any further, I wanna show you guys what I was doing. I drilled the new, the new holes and I've been putting in the screws one at a time. So what I did was I used a 1.8 to drill, so that's gonna be the main hole. And then what I did was I countersunk, maybe about one mil or one eighth, one eighth or one sixteenth in a little bit. And I used three sixteenths just to countersink it a little bit. And the reason why I did that is, um, remember before I actually cut off the, um, the tips of the screws so they won't hit the wall. And because I did that, it, it's harder to screw them in um, without the point if I don't do that. So I did that so that way I can screw it right in. And uh, yeah, I'm doing that right now. And then after once I'm done, I'm gonna go back in here with the, the 3M epoxy, I'm gonna be putting it in here just to fill up the hole so that way we don't have any gaps. And as you noticed, I took the transducer out so it's easier to work on. So there's, it's been some time since I actually installed the transducer onto the boat. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. This is where it was. Um, this spot right here, the transducer was actually flush with the water coming across underneath it. So that was fine. Remember, I actually did lift up the transducer a little bit to get it out of the way of the water. That was actually fine. What I didn't realize was the transom or the bow of the boat curved. And because it curved, the transducer wasn't actually straight this way. It was off to the side, kicked out a little bit. So the water that was rushing right in this area right here was actually hitting the side of the transducer putting pressure on the transducer and also putting pressure on the plate. And because of that, it started peeling this off over here. And then eventually it actually almost peeled off completely, but I ended up catching it. And then I just pulled the rest of it myself. I'm gonna have to redo this. I'm gonna have to clean all this stuff off. I think what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna put the that mounting plate right across here. 
so that way it's out of the water so that way I can mount the transducer high enough so that when I'm on plane the transducer is not even in the water nothing of it none of the part of the transducer is being hit by the water when I'm on plane as you can see the water line is right there so when I slow down when I'm doing like 10 kilometers an hour, even 5 kilometers an hour, the transducer will still be in the water and still be able to read my depth, the fish, and anything else that's there. Alright, so it looks like this is as far as I'm going to get with this. Um, I can't peel anything more off. It's really stuck on there. I think I am going to bolt this, make sure it doesn't come off. So I am going to go something like this and uh, keep it off the edge right there. But I have to do some trimming, right? pretty much from where my finger is all the way out that way so I already traced it I was using the wrong side <laughs> so I already traced it so and I'm gonna cut it out All right, so the moment of truth. All right. How does that look? I think that looks pretty good. All right, so I am going this method. I'm actually gonna drill it into the transom. So I already pre-drilled everything, uh, countersunk the, the gel coat or the fiberglass hull and uh, ready to go inside. Now what I am going to be using is a number 12 screw, it's one and a half inch long and there you go. So it is ready, all it needs now is just that 3M, I am going to reuse that uh, 3M 5200 adhesive. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I put a lot around the holes and just smear it on the back of the, of the board and it should be good that way. All right, that's it. I am done. All right, so everything is uh, screwed into place, including the transducer. Uh, now it, the glue just needs to set. I'm gonna leave it for about three days. Over here, as you can see, I actually had to move it over. That's because of the strap that's actually, that holds the bolt down to the trailer. If I left it over there, then what would have ended up happening is that the strap would have been pushing the bracket to the side. I don't want that. So I decided to shift over, and uh, now the strap is cleared. And we're good so I'm pretty sure I'm confident that this is gonna be okay as you can see when I once I get into plane right here the water line the transducer will not be in the water but I won't know until we get this boat onto the water I didn't really want to drill holes into the transom but I really had no other choice so the boat is actually tarped up ready to go to sleep so that is it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it until the next time I'll see you out there